The Gypsy did pretty well. Very fuel efficient, nice and light, easy to use, low maintenance, but it had certain issues. It couldn't go to all the places the Jonga could. So, uh, build quality, etc. Obviously, it was a lot lighter. It was a Japanese vehicle. So, nothing like this ever in the Army. Nice and wide, very much humbly like Take it anywhere. Uh, it will just pretty much fulfill all your needs in terms of space, maneuverability, and, of course, uh, that factor. Take it anywhere. So uh, the Humvee, a lot of talk about it coming in from the U.S. Army. We all know how well it's done for lots of armies around the world. And so it never did end up coming to the Indian Army. So this vehicle really addresses a sort of need that's been there for a long time as far as the Indian Army is concerned, I think. So that's, that's a big plus. Now inside, of course, it's very spartan because obviously this isn't a luxury vehicle. So you've got your basics. So like I mentioned earlier, you've got the air conditioning. But uh, you've also got your on-the-fly four-wheel drive. And uh, interestingly, the switch gear for the uh, 